Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about Cisco's WebEx Share device. The WebEx Share is uh, a great way to take a display in a conference room or a boardroom, a display that does not have a video endpoint or any type of collaboration technology attached to it, uh, and collaboration enable it. Uh, the Share, as the name kind of implies, uh, the key feature is the ability to share your screen uh, from both the WebEx application or the WebEx Teams application. So uh, the ability to take that display, easily share to it when presenting in the room. Uh, also when in a meeting, say you come into a meeting and you have a conference phone on the table, uh, you join WebEx via your laptop, you can then share that content onto the display as well. Uh, the WebEx Share is very easy to set up. Uh, it's small, lightweight, easy to deploy. Uh, and uh, we're gonna show you how to do that right now. Here's the box that the WebEx Share comes in. It's very easy to open it up and get started. We pull the cover back. The device is right on top. Uh, we can take it out pretty easily. Uh, here it is. This is the WebEx Share. You'll notice it has a short length of cable on it. This is actually a standard HDMI cable. There is also a port in the side. This is for USB-C power. And last but not least, there is a, a button right there. If you can see that, we're going to use that to actually initialize the configuration of the device when we connect it to the display. Also in the box, we have the packaging. There are a few pieces of uh, quick start literature, uh, as well as you know compliance notes. We have the USB-C power adapter. Uh, that's obviously the US power adapter. And last but not least, we have the USB-C cable. Uh, the reason we need the power is HDMI is not a reliable source of power, so we have to you know, power the thing up. Let's take a look next at how to get it connected to our display and start provisioning. Once we have the WebEx Share connected to a display and powered on, will be greeted with a screen that looks something like this. The WebEx Share itself is going to be broadcasting an SSID. You'll see the SSID and the pre-shared key displayed on the screen. In this case, the SSID is WebEx Share 067. I'm going to navigate to the wireless settings on my laptop. I'll find the wireless uh, shared, uh, the SSID for the WebEx Share. I'll connect. I always find it handy to uncheck the box that asks to remember this network, uh, just in case we have to provision another WebEx share that has the same SSID, but a different passphrase that can save us some time. I'm going to key in the code. Once I have that keyed in, we will hit join. It'll take a second, but the a uh, browser will actually pop up a welcome message. It's going to redirect to a secure page. Against better judgment, we're going to hit continue past the SSL warning message. Uh, the reason we can do that is because this is a device that we have direct control over. Uh, but of course, uh, otherwise you probably would not want to do that. You're going to be greeted with a screen that looks something like this. It says getting started. From here, we can hit setup. A list of detectable SSIDs will be presented. Now these are the SSIDs on our network, our corporate SSIDs. I'm going to use the Home 2 SSID. Uh, if you're using 802.1x, the applicable fields will be displayed. In this case, I'm just using a pre-shared key. I'm going to type in the pre-shared key for my network. And then hit Join. Uh, the device is going to uh, go out, connect to the network, and ensure, uh, you know, ensure its connectivity. What you can do in that time is actually disconnect from the shares SSID and connect back to your corporate network. After the device is connected, a new screen will pop up and it will say, enter this IP address in your web browser. This is essentially the IP address that WebEx Share has acquired. We're going to open that up in our web browser like you can see here. You'll see that familiar setup button. Go ahead and click it. It's going to launch to another somewhat familiar screen that asks us to enter an activation code. 
This is that same 16-digit pin you use to register your DX80, your room-based endpoints, your WebEx board, and so on. Uh, to get this code, there's two options. We can go to you know, my personal profile or your personal profile and register a device in that same manner. I think that's what I'm going to do here just for simplicity. The other option is to define this WebEx share as a space or a meeting room in the WebEx cloud. Uh, you can uh, provision it the same way, again, that you would a WebEx board or a, you know, a Room 55 or something of that sort. Uh, it, the nice thing with either option is it can be paired to either that resources or that individual's Outlook calendar for scheduling. Let's go ahead to my uh, settings page. Again, you want to go to settings.webex.com, log in. You'll land at your profile page. You can see my name and SIP address and uh, profile picture there. You want to go to My Devices. You'll see any devices that are previously been provisioned. Uh, and at the bottom, you want to generate an activation code. This activation code can conveniently be copied. And if you return back to the WebEx share in the other browser tab, you can simply paste the activation code. If you hit Activate, You'll notice both on your browser screen and on the screen of the WebEx Share attached device, the activation process uh, is taking place. It'll take a moment or two to complete, um, but once it's done, we are up and running. Hope, hopefully that's been a good, quick introduction to the WebEx Share. If you have questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Uh, as always, we'd love to see you subscribe, and we hope to see you back on our channel again sometime soon. Thanks for watching.